Welcome to this lesson on the AstroSIP Terminals Hardware Overview, the 9000i series. In this lesson, we will continue with the 9000i series of phones. This will include the 9143i, the 9480i, and the 9480i CT. The first phone I'll start off with is the 9143i. When you order one of these phones, you'll get a power adapter and cord, the installation guide, the phone, a telephone stand, the handset and cord, an ethernet cable, a programmable key card, and a wall mounting kit. We'll start by looking at the front of the phone. On the top of the phone, you have your three line LCD display and your left, right, and up and down arrow keys. Then you have the hold key, the goodbye key, a standard dial pad, and your volume control keys. Then we have a column of eight pre-programmed keys. These keys include the callers key, conference, transfer, redial, three hard-coded line keys, and a hands-free key, which toggles between the speaker and the headset. The next column includes the options key, the directory key, a save key, which you can use to save name and numbers in your directory. You can also use it with the programmable keys. A delete key, which allows you to remove entries from your redial directory or callers list. Seven programmable keys and a mute key. I'll turn the phone around 360 degrees. Notice that there's no connections on the back of the 9000i series. All of the wired connections use the connectors on the bottom of the phone. You have your handset connector, your headset connector, the LAN connector. All three 9000i series of phones support power over Ethernet and a PC jack. The 9143i has an internal two port switch which allows it to support another Ethernet device such as a PC. Both the LAN and the PC ports support 10 100 megabit Ethernet connections. And if you're not in an area that supports a power over Ethernet connection, you can use the power adapter. The telephone stand has four slide tabs. It can be attached to the telephone in one of two ways. Depending on which set of holes you use will change the viewing angle of the telephone. To attach the stand, insert the tabs and slide the stand forward. For demonstration purposes and ease of viewing, I attach the stand without first attaching the cables. But in real life, you'll want to connect the cables first, then attach the stand. Here is an example of how to route and secure the cables using the stand. Before we move on, let's review some of the highlights of the 9143i. It has a three-line LCD display, seven programmable keys. Using the hard keys and programmable keys can have up to nine call appearance keys. It has a full duplex speakerphone, multilingual support, a built-in Ethernet switch for PC support, and it supports XML and power over Ethernet. Now let's look at the 9480i and 9480i CT. Both phones are identical, except for the mobility option offered by the CT, which can have up to four cordless handsets. I'll use the 9480i to demonstrate the layout of both phones. When you order a 9480i or 9480i CT, what you'll get is a power adapter and cord, an installation guide, the phone, a telephone stand, a handset and cord, an ethernet cable, a number card and lens, a wall mounting kit, and if you order a 9480i CT, you'll get one cordless handset. Now let's look at the button layout. Starting in the top left, we have the hold, redial, goodbye, and option keys, a standard dial pad, the volume control keys, your speakerphone and headset toggle key, and the mute key. In the bottom right, you have your up and down and left and right arrow keys, your transfer, conference, intercom, and services keys, and you have four hard-coded line and call appearance keys with LEDs. The 9480i and 9480i CT use an eight-line LCD display with six customizable soft keys. 
When we turn the phone over, you'll see all of the connectors are on the bottom of the phone. There's a connector for the handset, a connector for a wired headset, a LAN connector. All of the 9000i series supports power over Ethernet, a PC connector, which can be used to support another Ethernet device. Both the LAN and the PC connectors support 10100 megabit Ethernet connections. And if you're in an area that doesn't support a power over Ethernet network connection, you can use the power adapter. To attach the stand to the phone is a two-step process. First you'll insert the tabs, then you'll press down until the locking tabs snap into place. I'm showing just the stand and this angle, so if you ever want to remove the stand, you'll know that the locking tabs are the key to removing the stand from the phone. The locking tabs are made of a hard plastic and must be pressed in or towards each other to release the stand from the phone. Now let's attach the base to the phone. Here are the slots on the phone where the base will attach. Gently insert the first two tabs, then press towards the phone to lock the base into place. And in real life, You'll want to connect the cables first before you attach the stand. That's a look at the 9480i. The 9480i CT supports the same features as the 9480i, plus it supports the mobility option. Let's review some of the highlights for the 9480i and 9480i CT. Both phones have an 8-line LCD display, 6 customizable soft keys, and can support up to 9 call appearance keys. They both have a full duplex quality speakerphone, multilingual support, Ethernet switch for PC support, and they both support XML and power over Ethernet. The 9480i CT adds the mobility option. With the 9480i CT, you can have up to four cordless handsets per base phone. The handsets have a five line backlit LCD display, two content sensitive soft keys, and eight predefined hard keys. The programmable function key can support up to 20 functions, and it uses WDEC technology, which has roughly a 300,000 square foot coverage area. This is equivalent to about the length of a football field away from the base unit. Even though the 9480i CT phone supports up to four cordless handsets, there can only be one active cordless handset at a time. And remember, the rule of thumb when deploying the 9480i CT and the cordless handsets is that in an area that has 15 to 20 cubicles, you can deploy a maximum of 8 cordless handsets. Now I'll give you a moment to review the summary chart for all three phones in the 9000i series. In this lesson, we looked at the hardware layout, features, and specifications for the 9000i series of phones. We looked at the 9143i, 9480i, and the 9480i CT with the cordless handset.